Hi, I'm Bob Coburn. Welcome to our special Rockline Encore with Van Halen from February 20th, 1984. The 1984 album had just been released, so I flew down to Atlanta to join David, Alex, and Michael of Van Halen. We call this show... The Night Van Halen Commandeered Rockline. This program comes with a warning. David had a ghetto blaster with tape sound effects and music. A stripper came in and lap danced Dave and most of us during the program. There was much unspecified partying going on. Plus, the show is sophomoric, juvenile, and contains all the earmarks of a fraternity party, just the way good live radio ought to be. Callers were frustrated and ignored. I was frustrated and ignored. Yet looking back, this was total, to-the-wall, hysterical rock and roll radio. Some questions, such as my first to David, went unanswered, even when asked again later by a caller. Some answers made no sense at all, but it sure was fun. And loud and absolutely nuts, the ultimate party show from what was the ultimate party band, Van Halen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Van Halen live on the air. I'm David Lee Roth. I'm Michael Anthony. And good noon afternoon noon from Alex. Thank you. Together we are Van Halen. <laughs> When I flew out from Los Angeles, I had five marriage proposals for David that I was supposed to pass on, and also about 20 questions that it seems like everybody wanted to know the same thing. What the hell is on the inside of the album jacket, the little round things on the, on the inside it's, it's sleeve? It's called a record. It's... <laughs> Van Halen representing the United States going for the full point. <laughs> After one inning, Live. Alex won. The rest of us nothing. What, what is that, seriously? Well, actually what it is is something purely designed to confuse you, Bob. <laughs> A job well done. <laughs> that's, that's not too difficult. <laughs> like you said, Alex, timing is of the essence. <laughs> We're going to play a song from 1984 by Van Halen, and then we'll put you on the air with Michael, Alex, and David what right after want, Panama. Panama by Van Halen from the 1984 album. It's a special rock line encore from 1984, so no calls tonight. You know, I don't know what was the tougher job that evening, being host of the program or being one of the callers. <laughs> Our first call of the night was she. Okay, great. I wanted to ask the whole band, was there any specific reason for the delay between the Diver Down album and 1984? Is there any specific reason for anything here, darling? <laughs> you did take a bit of time in between the two <laughs> records, though. Well, music is something that Van Halen makes when we run out of nothing to do. We, <laughs> we tend to spend a lot of time sitting around. Al, what are you doing with the headsets? <laughs> what, do you, what do you call that maneuver, Al? <laughs> Space. Now I'd say I'd say that over a period of a year, when Van Halen was recording the last record, I'd say we must have rehearsed, recorded, uh, composed, orchestrated, edited, uh, oh, produced, and everything at least a total of uh, maybe two weeks or more. <laughs> I think, I think also the rest of the time, she, the rest of the time we were opening up the whiskey distilleries around the country too. You know. <laughs> well, Sheila, where's the beef, Sheila? Where's the beef? Where's the beef? A uh, reference to the old Wendy's commercial, which was on the air back in 1984. We're just warming up with Van Halen. Get ready to laugh and/or throw something at your radio as we continue in just a moment on Rockline on the AM/FM network. All right, I'm Bob Coburn. Welcome back to the night. Van Halen commandeered Rockline. February 20th, 1984. Warning, this show is not for the humorless or the overly sensitive. Before we get to our call from Lauren, David Lee Roth was at it again with his ghetto blaster. It's live. It's Rocky. It's Van Halen. It's Adrian. Adrian. Our first caller tonight is Adrian. <laughs> Let's give Lauren a chance to get her question in here. Lauren, what's on your mind? Do we have a phone call here? I want to talk to David Lee Roth. David Lee Roth is right here in your arms, darling. How are you tonight? I love you so much. I am your number one fan. And without people like you, there could never be people like me. My question to you is, I heard you were making a movie, and I want to know when I can expect to see it. What kind of movie would you like me to make for you, darling? Perhaps we can deal in video first. <laughs> I think she fell down. <laughs> Again. 
<laughs> we're live. We're Van Halen. I'm David Lee Roth. This is Mike. You're right here. This is Al, your pal. And together we are most of Van Halen. Good evening, America. Give us a call. And that takes care of Lauren, I guess. Good luck. Good luck to you, Lauren. We have another woman on the line. She's Mary Ann. She's in Houston. Hi there. Hi. Mary Ann, are you there? Yes, I'm here. How are you tonight, darling? Oh, I'm fine. Would you like to know what kind of movie I'd like to see you in? What kind of movie would you like to see me in? One where you just go ahead and just lay on. Don't you already work for me, darling? <laughs> <laughs> She's on the payroll tomorrow morning. I think I know you. I think I know you. <laughs> Give us a call, America Van Halen. We can't wait to see what's on your filthy, steaming little mind. Yes. <laughs> Let's find out if Marianne got everything she wanted answered. Marianne, are you still there? Are you still there, Marianne? Yes, I'm still here. And uh -oh. is everything okay? I want to ask you something. Is, is it there true anything that you I can help you with? And you just move you onto the side stage. You just happen to pick out all the women you want in the backstage. Well, I don't pick out all the women I want. I don't get all the women I want, Marianne. I get all the women who want me. <laughs> if you want it, here it is. <laughs> Wait a minute, take that's a not the theme from Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Rocky theme, though. Yeah. Let's take another phone call. We have uh, somebody calling from Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Cherry oh, Hill. Okay. Do you to make your own outfit? What? What is it? Do we make our own outfit? Yeah, do you, and, like, where do you get those bottomless pants? <laughs> <laughs> Because we're not making any money this year. Well, those <laughs> those pants, those pants, darling. There's, you know, there are two different sides of those pants. There's the front and the back. And I was just wondering personally which side it is you actually prefer out there. <laughs> any preference there, Janice? Oh God, dang! I like the front. <laughs> You're my kind of girl, honey. Yeah. Uh, so, wait, you're on the payroll tomorrow, too. <laughs> so far, we have all women calling for some odd reason. Van uh, Halen clothes mostly is based on the premise of unmaking the clothes. We try and vacuum pack it so you can see what you're getting for your $12 a seat, darling. We're in Atlanta. We have a call from Atlanta. <laughs> Debbie, it's your turn. Good luck. Are you there, Deb? Yeah. Hi, Debbie. Atlanta. Hi, y'all. Hi, How Debbie. are you, Deb? I'm great now. <laughs> Okay, this is for Alex. Uh-oh, um, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I have okay. good attorneys. <laughs> yeah, that remains to be seen. However... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay let's, look at, let's give Debbie a shot here. Come on, Debbie, what's your question? What's okay. the question? Do you have any future plans to do any solo albums or work on any other artists? You know, do I do who, what, stuff? when, where, why? Do we have any plans to work on any other artists? <laughs> yes, yeah, no, I, I sat know. a Picasso one time. <laughs> and I've, and I've and the paint rubbed off and got my butthole dirty. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been... <laughs> As you know, I've been uh, harassing Pat Benatar over the phone frequently in the last several weeks. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll give you an honest answer. Oh, this is going to be a first. Gee, thank you. <laughs> this is an honest answer. Pretend uh, you're Judge Wapner. Come on. <laughs> right. <laughs> the, four, the four personalities in this band are so diverse to begin with that we have uh, uh, the availability to do what we want to do without having to go to outside projects. Now, yes, Ed went out and fell in love with his boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> What it is, what it is, is when Al says that he's diverse, he means that he's bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but only, but with only one wheel. <laughs> Warning, warning, the show is decadent and depraved. Just what you expect from Van Halen back in 1984. While you adjust to the proceedings, why don't you dance the night away? Welcome to Rockline. 
My name is David Lee Roth, and you're here with the other members of Van Halen. We're taking phone calls from all over the United States now. Call us. Let us know what's on your mind. And our next phone call for Van Halen from Orlando, Florida. Paul, you're on Rock One. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> you can't guess? <laughs> <laughs> what's happening yeah, Bob Cohen, with you, about Paul? All the <laughs> Paul, we can't hear you. What's your question, please? Yeah, Bob Cohen was talking about all those things on the inside of the album cover, and you didn't ever answer it, so I want to know what they are. For those of you who've ever read the book 1984, I want to assure you that Van Halen and what's on the inside of that album cover is behind door number 101. <laughs> 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 Wait a minute, that's Star Trek, Al. <laughs> yeah, get your sci-fi straight there, Al. That would be the only thing that was straight that night, believe me. More classic Van Halen music, more craziness and insanity coming up. That's Jamie's crying for you there. We were with David, Alex, and Mike, along with their entire road crew in a studio in Atlanta, and our callers doing their best to get on the air. And I was completely replaced as host that night by Diamond Dave. And, and gladfully so, I might add, because uh, you'll hear, listen to this. <laughs> All right. Yes, indeed, friends. It's Van Halen right here live on the Rock Line. Come on and give us a little call. Tell us all about it. That's what William did. He is in Brunswick. William. Hey, Brunswick, hey, how guys. are you? What's on your mind, Will? Well, Speak I'm up. understanding up here that um, you recorded your latest video on uh, Super 8 Millimeter. And uh, after watching it, I've noticed it's pretty tame as compared you to the pretty woman from last year. It was pretty was evident, curious, huh? I was curious to know, um, uh, are you doing that kind of because of the controversy over the video you had last year over the woman's legs and whatnot and whatever? Well, as you probably know, Will, that was no woman. That was a female impersonator. <laughs> so, yeah. so True story. Yeah. Dave's girlfriend. So, <laughs> so, there's really, so there's really no controversy about that. In fact, what the situation was is that in the face of the hundred and fifty thousand dollar video budget the one million dollar 15 mi minute video budget have you seen the michael jackson video william the one thriller have you seen that yeah and you know when he goes was it in color you know when you know when he gets out there and he says you know i'm not like other guys that's right mike you're rich <laughs> 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 but I got to tell you, you know, in the face of the $150,000 budget, the $200,000 budget, the beer commercial producer, we figured we'd make our own little beer commercial, you know. And we got our own a little handheld camera and a bunch of the white lights and set it up and shot it ourselves. I think it cost actually a little over $600, 600 bucks in cigarette money. Big now, that, is that rock and roll or what, <laughs> man? Put all those proceeds from the US Festival right back into the video. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take another call. This is Renee. Hi. Hi. How are you tonight, Renee? Good. <laughs> um, I have a question for you, Dave. All right. Did you write the song Drop Dead Legs about one of your old girlfriends? No, I wrote the song Drop Dead Legs to a picture of a model that I saw in an interview magazine. And she was in the Calvin Klein's underwear advertisement, you know, the one where they're wearing guys' underwear and she's laying against a monument or something. Like I got a monument you can lay against. <laughs> Pretty monumental. <laughs> <laughs> Mount Rock, what, what they call it. Yeah. What happened to Bob? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. He's just, he just sitting here chagrined. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. That's wow. right. A monument to the race. Here we yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. The Washington yeah. Monument. And it's a race to the monument. We'll take a Southern California call. Yeah, I'd like to place an order for a large pepperoni and a small salad, no tomato. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, good luck because you're going to get her. <laughs> she looks like a large pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got the right number, pal. Is this Rockline? We deliver. <laughs> this is uh, Rockline Pizza. Hey, hello. <laughs> yeah, we're here, Charlie. Hey, how you guys doing? We're doing really fabulous. Good. How's All everybody right, doing good. in here? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Everybody's having a good time down here. We're in Atlanta, Georgia, and we're on World Tour 1984, World Vacation, World Escapade. It's a combination of the circus, the Bedouin tribesmen, and the Foreign Legion down here. And I mean down here. <laughs> Did you get your question in, Charlie? Did yeah, you even have a question, Charlie? Like, hello? Yeah, we're here. You guys got to go like this. Thanks for the call, I think, Charlie. We're going to play another song. Not only are we going to play Jump, but also the intro to it, the title track of the album, 1984 by Van Halen. Blend a trip to the liquor store with a ghetto blaster, about 20 people in a studio in Atlanta with Alex Van Halen, Michael Anthony, and David Lee Roth, and this is what you get, ladies and gentlemen. Danielle actually caught a break as David Lee Roth went into his Don Juan mode. Hi. How are you tonight, Danielle? I'm just fine, and you? No, oh, we're having a great time down here. Wish you were here, baby. I'm sending yeah. all my love, body to follow. <laughs> well, I'll be seeing you in Worcester. Would you say that again, honey? I didn't hear you. I'll be seeing you in Worcester. Now, you're going to be seeing us in Worcester? We're going to see you, too. You put your hand up in the air and give us a little wave. Here's a free smile. Mm, looks good on you, baby. Bring it uh -huh. on down to the concert. Uh -huh. Wondering. I heard you have a new stage show and you hold some kind of record. Everything. Are you going to break it for the 84 tour? <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to break before before we get to Worcester, Al? What do you think? Well, I used to have a dog, and the dog's name was Hyman. And I Al Scalskin. I called him Scalskin. <laughs> There's Al, that's, there's Al, colorful, <laughs> the rest is his dramatic, and the rest is Buster his Buster Hyman, sorry. He's <laughs> uh, <is> very cunning <laughs> linguist. <laughs> You'll find out the answer to that in concert, I guess, Danielle. Thanks for the call. We have Mike on the line. He is in Rochester. No, I'm not. Hi. I'm right here, Bob. Hey, Mike. Uh, oh, Mike, right hi. Here, How are hey, you? Hey, John and Dave, i got a question for you. Yo, I'm right here, and I'm on your side. Ain't nothing much. The answer is number one. Two questions. <laughs> How's What's Atlanta? How about what? How's Atlanta? How is it? We're having a great time. How's Atlanta, everybody? Yeah. 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 I gotta live with this, man. <laughs> This is the entourage. Where are you from? Where are you, where are you calling us from? I'm calling from Brockport, New York. Right. All right, New right. York. Right. Da, 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 da. These vagabonds. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You have no idea what's going on down here. All hell is dude. broken loose. I thought that was that dude's wife. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Start spreading the news. That is his wife. <laughs> I, I should try and explain what's going on as we're sitting here uh, doing rock line. I look behind me and there's a very, uh, very healthy young woman taking her clothes off over my left shoulder. Uh, she's she's taking her clothes off. Yeah. 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 Those are my clothes. It's very, it's, it's, it's very, it's very, her clothes. Those are my clothes. Look at that. That's a far to take. And she's a natural blonde on top of it all. I love it. Or below it all, one or the other. Very titillating, Bob. Very titillating. This yeah, this interview definitely. has decayed perfectly, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> we're we're going to try and get Mike back on the line here for the people who aren't in the studio and can't see the I lovely sight behind. Oh, my God. Oh, God. What is she? She's sitting on his lap. She's she's sitting, Alex, she's asking, where's the beef? Where's the beef, man? <laughs> <laughs> where's the beef? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Van Halen trapped in a world they do not understand and try to survive. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Armed with nothing but a microphone and the will to survive, Van Halen is somewhere in the rock zone. <laughs> let's, let's give Mike a chance at least to get his question out of the air. Okay, uh, uh, Dave, I'd like to know... Uh, 
Uh, what? <laughs> not, not Michael Anthony. It's but... just about a super sensation thing. Swinging sweet double clutch and non-stop bending in. Honey, aren't you going to catch a cold dress like that? <laughs> no, not in all this heat. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, I'm going to go back to you one more time. I'll give you another shot. All right, here we go. Through the here cacophony go. here. What's she doing to his ear? Come on, come on, come on. Come on give Mike guys. a shot here. <laughs> what are we doing to America's ears? That's the question. All right, the question is. <laughs> the question is. Van Halen's attempt to cash in on the dance craze. <laughs> no, it's not an attempt to cash in on the dance craze. It's just we're behind door number 101. That's what it's all about, son. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. A, it's nothing to cash in on the dance craze. Because in fact, you come down to the show and you see it's just a little piece of junk keyboard that you plug into a wall of marshmallows amplifiers and then you sing and dance your, your way into the hearts and homes and bedrooms of people everywhere and that's what we do for a living man <laughs> we'll be right back with van halen live on the satellite from atlanta after running with the devil on rock one did you figure out what month and year these events occurred the album van halen 2 was released donna summer put out the disco hit hot stuff and actor robert downey jr celebrated his 14th birthday it was april of 1979 well, February 20th of 1984 was indeed the night Van Halen commandeered Rockline, or more appropriately, the night David Lee Roth commandeered the show. And now your host for the evening, David Lee Roth. David, who's our next caller? Johnny, 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 Johnny. Say, what's going on, baby? What's happening, Johnny? What's going on? Uh, not a whole lot. Uh, Can you hear me? It's going to be writing your own music in the future because. When, are we going to be writing more of our own music in yeah, the future? Is that your question? And dive her down. What'd you say? He's he's saying there were some. There were some cover cuts on Diver Down. There's not on this one. Are you going to go more toward original stuff or do more covers? In the oh, future? I don't think it's a question really of who wrote the song or what key is in or anything. It's just a question. Does it make you feel good, 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 good? Yeah. So that's why we always did some songs that we used to have in the bars. You know, we used to play things like Pretty Woman in the bars a couple times a night, you know. And then when it came time to go in the studio, when might as well feel good in the studio as you did in that bar. I thought it was a really nice gesture to get Roy Orbison more sun glasses too I that was really nice and he got a guys. blue jeans endorsement and um, yeah but we, we more power wrong. to you baby <laughs> Did, didn't we get the wrong color for him <laughs> <laughs> hey even stevie wonder can see that <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take another phone call. We'll go to Cheyenne, Wyoming. Listening is Susie. Hi. Susie, how are the horses out there? Oh, fine. Good. <laughs> Susie, are you having a good time in oh, here yes. tonight? Yes. First of all, I wanted to say was my friend Lee David, she wants to tell you that she thinks you're the sexiest thing on this earth. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what's left of it. <laughs> Are you going to come and see us when we come around tour that part of the country, honey? Susie? Oh, no, but the horses are. I, I will not miss it. <laughs> you got to come and see it live in front of your naked steaming eyes. Ain't nothing but it's just about a sensation, baby. Susie. Take the radio. Put the radio against your body. Now, feel the sound of my voice as it travels up your stomach and into your mind, inside of you, just like my words already are. <laughs> it's all the timing, baby. It's all in the timing. Rhythm is that's, that's, that's everything. <laughs> Susie, do you have a question about Hot for Teacher? <laughs> yes, I didn't already ask him. <laughs> yeah, we, we couldn't hear you, though. We Try it again. Hear. Oh, they couldn't hear me? You, what, what's what's okay, the question? Okay, um, I want to know what their inspiration was. What the what was? Inspiration, the inspiration for Hot for, for hot teacher. teacher. Well, the inspiration is it always seems like you're going to school some ways. You know, that's hard to escape. What do you think, man? <laughs> I think the inspiration was actually uh, Dave's. Fifth, I think the inspiration was actually uh, Dave's fifth grade 
mathematics teacher. I think it had something to do with uh, something to do with geometry. Geometry figures. Yeah, yeah, we got yeah. I saw Celie's. Uh, oh man, how much I spent most of fifth grade harder than Chinese algebra. <laughs> We'll be back live with Van Halen on Rockline in just a moment. Right now, we're hot for teacher on Rockline. Hot for teacher by Van Halen yeah, on Rockline. Man. I'm Bob Coburn with David, Alex, and Michael from the band. Yes, indeed. Hello. Hello. Hi, friends. Our next Live. phone call is John. How's it, how's it going, guys? Hey. Yeah, what's happening, bud? Hey, what I want to know is, man, hey, what kind of drugs are you all on right now? Uh, <laughs> we, don't, we don't have drugs, man. What we're using is that little piece of plastic with a hole. We say records, music, man. Yeah, we say, oh, we want to give it to you, too. You know, it's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the call, John. Uh, <laughs> They're designer, by the way. We have uh, Carrie on the line. She's in Plattsmouth, Nebraska. Carrie, talk to us. Hey, Dave. Hey, how are you? Fine. What are you We're doing from Plattsmouth, right the party in Taos, and we got a couple questions for you. First, you know? we'd like to know if you have any musical goals for 1985. Say that again. Do you have any musical goals for 1985? I don't. I don't think I've had any goals in in any frame of reference. <laughs> in my life. It's just been sort of one steady plunge into the pool. You know, a lot of times, darling, I feel like I'm chasing the ice cream truck through the rain. But nonetheless, you know what this thing. You know what's happened is I I just kind of woke up. I was in the band, and the whole thing just sort of turned into one big art project. You know, finger painting. But nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> One big art project. <laughs> if you can call a 10-year-long party an art project, more power to you. Yeah. Hey, I used to work for a living. And, uh, <laughs> Thanks for the call, Kerry. We have uh, Richard on the line now in Warren, Ohio. How you doing tonight, okay, man? Okay, how's Van Halen? Hey, 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 hey. Van Halen everything huh <laughs> all right okay well van halen van halen has a good time and i think that's the whole key there it's just that no it's not a private party you know everybody's kind of everybody is invited you know <laughs> okay, what's your question man, richard the <laughs> see him, man. What richard you how old are you i'm 19 how old are you going to be tomorrow? 19. <laughs> right. That's, a major, that's a major accomplishment these days, Richard. Yeah, <laughs> Alex completing a joke. <laughs> what's, your, what's your question, Richard? Okay, I want to know, Dave, man, how do you keep your voice from about completely bumming it after screaming and stuff? Well, we're, yes. <laughs> plenty the rest of, of the band would like to know that too, Dave. I do Please plenty go. of face push-ups. And Please the way you do this. Down. You know, the way you do <laughs> the way that you do this. How do you do a face push up, David? Ignore these guys in the background. I'm just, you know, ignore kind of, the man behind the curtain. Really. It's what you do is you lay down on the ground, and this is a, a form of aerobicizing, you know. You lay down face down on the floor, and you put your hands immediately behind your back, clasp your hands behind your back like in the full dress position, and then you lift your body up off the ground with your tongue, and you hold that position for as long as you can and beginners can usually get for about three four seconds before collapsing back to the linoleum but with a little applied effort and the proper diet which is essential then you can uh, begin to hold it for longer and longer and longer till eventually you're doing um, say both sides of a of a van halen tape without any real effort at all more coming up with van halen live from atlanta and hollywood on rockline in just a moment we'll be right back all right <laughs> You know, the answer for the uh, facelift actually was pretty tame. I thought David was going to go someplace completely different with the answer in that question. Use your imagination there. One of the amazing things about this special Rockline Encore is that less than a year after this show, David Lee Roth was out of Van Halen and Sammy Hagar was in. And you can hear the camaraderie in the studio with the three guys in there right now. But the question is, where was Eddie on the night of February 20th, 1984, when we did the show in Atlanta? Away intentionally to avoid the obvious partying, trying to get on the wagon? Or was it a portent of things to come, a rift within the band? Who knows? I don't have the answer. Uh, one thing I'm sure, though, the craziness continues in a moment with Van Halen. Boy, could they rock.
boy, could they party. <laughs> Our next Rockline listener who attempted to get the band's attention was named Julie. I wanted to find out, um, what's the meaning of the angel on the cigarette on the cover of 84? What's behind it? Well, that kind of symbolizes Van Halen, we like to think. About what? The, an, the angelic choir boy with a pell mell in his hand? <laughs> Actually, what, it, what, what the album cover is, it's a, um, it's a, uh, a picture of uh, the conglomeration of the four of us when we were kids. And what the artist did was to put the four of us together and just kind of put it in one picture. And that was the way that he did it. It's a composite. Yeah. Well stated, I might add. That, that pretty well An covers absolute it. absolute BS. But <laughs> sure sounds good on the radio, though. I think I'll tell that one to Rolling Stones. <laughs> Mike is listening and is on the show now. Hello. We have a call from Michael Jackson. I just want to ask you. During your concert, go ahead, Mike. I just want to ask you during your concert when you guys play jump, who's going to be playing the keyboard and who's going to be playing the guitar? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you got to come see it. It's amazing. The amazing Edward, the ten strings, twelve fingers, <laughs> says, and he's got to remember it all. You know, that's the tough part. It's not actually being able to play, you know, the music, but being able to remember it. You know, you can teach your fingers how to do it. But you have to be able to remember it. Luckily for myself, since I have all those words to remember, you know, there are several parts of me that are like an elephant man, and one of them is my memory. So, <laughs> this. <laughs> this <laughs> no self aggrandizement here at all, ladies and gentlemen. So, that kind of makes it a little bit easier. You Thanks know for the I'm call, saying? Mike. <laughs> we'll go to uh, <laughs> Steubenville, Ohio. Gina, hi. Yeah? Okay. Um, I right. wonder if you take any martial arts to learn how to jump. Well, it's just a matter, really, of wanting to throw yourself around and get paid for it. That's what, I, that's what I do for a living, you know? You know, some people just sort of naturally start to tap their foot, you know, when they drive in the car and they get a good song on the radio and they start to... What do you, dip, 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 dip. Now the people start to, like, accelerate, you know. Well, that's part and parcel of the reason they won't let me drive anymore out on the road. <laughs> I get very excited. He did when the music comes on, you know what I'm saying? Now, there's a lot of reasons they won't let David ride in a car, drive in a car, actually. Uh, they rented a car in New Orleans one time. I think David told me this story off the air during this show. And later, about an hour later, they called the car agency, the rental agency, and said, this car won't run, man. And a young man said, what are you talking about? And they said, the car won't run, man, and you can't open the passenger door. The guy says, well, let me get the manager for you. They put the manager on the phone. He says, I checked this car out personally. What do you mean it won't run? You can't open the passenger's door. David Lee Ross said, the reason is, man, it's lying on its side on Interstate 10. He laughed and he said to the manager, I really got you. You can hear what a night this was, February 20th, 1984 in Atlanta, Georgia, with David Lee Roth, Michael Anthony, and Alex Van Halen. Michelle managed to get on the air with a question, and she asked about fan mail. Has any fan mail that you received had it have any impact on you? Has any of our fan mail had any impact on it? Well, darling, it depends if it comes from somebody's attorney or not. Oh. And <laughs> well, I'll tell you, it takes me a lot longer to walk home these days from the office with that bag full. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but what about the mail? <laughs> Thanks for the call, Michelle. <laughs> Debbie on the telephone who wants to talk to Van Halen. She's in Highland Park, Illinois. Talk, talk to Debbie. me, Debbie, baby. Talk to me. Is this David? Hi, Debbie. She talk wants to talk to you, you, David. Are you there, Debbie? 433 I think we got the operator. <laughs> Debbie is a very, very smooth operator there. Okay, thank you. Are you there, darling? Yes, David. We need tickets out in Chicago. What can you do for us? Uh, well. <laughs> what can you do for us? <laughs> you got to give a little to get a little, baby. Jin, did you see the movie Risky Business? That was some gin sing. <laughs> <laughs> did you see the music business? Sometimes you just got to say, okay, and take your best shot. Honey. <laughs> hey, every boop time I talk about boops, and <laughs> just give me boop, and <laughs> have a boop time. <laughs> Lots of water. It is boop. It's great, Debbie. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you get into the show. We'll go to Ron now. He's in Salem, Ohio. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, first of all, I want to say Van Halen's the number one rock band in uh, 
United States of America. Mm -hmm. I'm not your average band, boo boo. <laughs> okay, free tickets for you, no problem. <laughs> okay, another thing, I want to ask David a question. First of all, uh, I want to know the jump you did in the video jump. Was it done with mirrors, or how did you do it? No, that's done right off the hardwood floor, man. If that's we shot it that way, so that you could see that. It's just about any mental magic can wheel out a trampoline, you know, and bounce in front of the 16 millimeter and charge you four dollars a month or whatever MTV costs to watch him do it. However, <laughs> however, we used a giant needle, <laughs> <laughs> and Dave said, "Ow!" <laughs> <laughs> and did the flip, and it's all for you. No, that's the real thing, man. That's the natural. That take care of your question, Ron? <laughs> What's that? Never mind. <laughs> okay, you're buying us for that or anything. Beam up, yeah. Scotty. Where's the beef? <laughs> okay, we're Where gonna, we're going to go to Aaron. She's in Portland. We're going to do this quickly. What's your question, please, Aaron? Hi, David. Yonk, I want to jump your bone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's only got one. <laughs> hey, well, hey, we'll go ahead and jump. Listen. <laughs> go I'll ahead and jump. You guys really party as much as everybody says you do. You might as well jump, and we do it all for you, baby. Yes, that's right. Van Halen. What was your question Live again there, Aaron? In front of your naked, I steaming ears. I want to know ears. if you guys party as much as everybody says you do. Mm, always had it. Always will. <laughs> Let me ask you something, Aaron. Do yeah. you think they party as much as the image is? <laughs> uh, it seems like they do, but we'll see, won't we? <laughs> you know Aaron what, darling? Gets too. You yeah. know what, darling? <laughs> <laughs> Just judging from the sound of your voice, you're going to make some young man very unhappy someday. <laughs> Thanks for the call, Aaron. We certainly appreciate it. Uh, after that show, Aaron's still wondering if they party the way the uh, the legend went. What do you think, huh? Of course, things change, and um, everybody in Van Halen has made some changes. Uh, Alex Van Halen has been sober for many years, so has Eddie. Uh, David Lee Roth is out of the band now. Uh, for me, that night was crazy. It was frustrating. There, there are really only two reasons that I'll turn a show over to an artist. Say in the case of uh, Pete Townsend, uh, Pete was so articulate and eloquent, and you just kind of sat back and let him go. In the case of Van Halen, I had no choice. They just flat grabbed the show right off from under me and took it and ran. But Diamond Dave was on fire that night, so it was fun to watch him work with his ghetto blaster and the stripper coming into the studio. And uh, all I can say about the partying, just, just use your imagination, and we'll leave it at that. You know, I, I look back, and in a strange way, I miss those days of uh, rock and roll insanity. I mean, it's, it's not the same now. And neither is Van Halen. David Lee Roth out of the band, went to a solo career, back in Van Halen for two songs for the Greatest Hits album, made an appearance on MTV, very frustrated about not getting back into the band after Sammy Hagar had left. Of course, Sammy was with the band for over a decade. Sammy now has a solo career, about to release his second album. Gary Sharon, currently the singer in what is now called Van Halen 3, at least that last album was. Who knows what tomorrow may bring, but yesterday sure seems like a lot of fun now, looking back. I'm B.C., and I'll be seeing you.